Okay, welcome back to my let's play of Fallout 2 on the PC. We are at the Sierra Army Depot, which was guarded by a whole slew of turrets that, uh, well, in the past have taken care of a lot of people that have tried to get into the Army Depot. But they're not as good as me, so it's all good. I got a hit with a trap for 33 damage. Great. Okay. An electronic lock, so my lock picks don't do shit. You need an electronic lock pick. Or you can just use your hand. And what do we got here? A rocket launcher and a howitzer shell. I can't carry that much. In fact, I can't carry almost anything. Shit. What do you want? Uh, what do I want, man? What do I want? I don't know. Could anyone know? Take my badge. Maybe money weighs something, I don't know. Probably not. Okay, six pounds, this is ten, this is ten, so that's twenty-six right there. It's, uh thirty-three, thirty-four. Oh the rope weighs ten pounds. Fuck me, I didn't think rope weighed that much. 20 pounds. Alright, that's that done. Grab that good shit. This is locked. Use the lock picks. That's the answer. Yeah, 45 XP. I set off another trap. Who traps fucking containers at an army base? Is that standard procedure in the military? Does anyone know? I'm gonna die when I open this. No, okay. Oh. 5 millimeter JHP. Marcus will be happy to see that. Actually, at my maximum weight capacity. So we're going to have to use this howitzer. What do you want? And give him this to carry because I don't have any rockets anyways. What do you do with a howitzer shell? Well... You put it in a howitzer, duh. Where's a howitzer? Well, unfortunately... Unfortunately... I think that actually killed me that time. <laughs> yeah. God. I mean, really, I will be here all day if I try to disarm this trap. I don't think I'll ever actually do it. You'd think, like, oh, just throw a rock and set it off. I don't know why I did that. Um, 
And in our, our tabletop RPG, it's exactly what you do. In the 3D versions, you would just shoot the trap. And it would set off, but here we're very limited. Maybe I can push Marcus into it, but... All right, there you go. He took six damage. And job done. Ah, oh, god damn it, you didn't get the other one. Well, either way. There's the howitzer. Let's just use it. You dumbass. Load the shell into the howitzer. Fire the howitzer right into Marx's dumb face. All right, and that blew open the door, and that's how you get in. Everyone's happy. Okay, that's all there's to say about that. Head back. Almost in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, 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 good. What do you want? Don't be such an ass. Take this ammo and enjoy it, and these flares you love to throw. And some grenades, because I'll be useless with them. Too much to carry? What kind of pansy ass are you? Outrageous. Dill? I'm not taking any of this shit. He is carrying a fuck ton. Jesus Christ, he's carrying a lot. <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to sell this shit. Well, sure that you don't need that many shotgun shells. There you go. Weight capacity done. Alrighty. We'll save. I'm sure I'll die. Because I'm at 7 health. There you go, nice squeaky clean, uh... Pull the piece of paper with the word Tchaikovsky on it. There's the password. Tchaikovsky. Force fields of level one, deactivated. Good, I like that. Locked my ass. That bad boy open. Oh, come on. A oh, hundred skill. Outrageous. Okay, does the normal lock picks work? No. There we go. What's my reward? Evacuation hollow disk. Take that. We'll leave that shit behind. Notice to all personnel. Evacuation of Sierra Army Depot has been advanced one week. Installation of security and defense measures must be completed by then. All personnel must check in with section chiefs for revised orders. During this time, security will be strictly enforced. ID badges must be worn at all times. By order of General Clifton. Alrighty. Oh, I see some lockers down there. Oh, and these side lockers. 
two first aid books. Let me fucking read those. Oh, hold on. Uh, okay. Sorry. Use the other first aid book. Good, good, good. So now first aid's up to 47 doctors at 54. Except that's not really good enough, is it? Never fucking good enough. There you go. I mean, eventually this is like a reliable way to heal yourself. Just doctor your shit up. It's better if you have the doctor's kit, but... Here we are. I mean, eventually it'll say like, oh, you can't, uh... Can't do that anymore. We're working it, though. Be tired. And then use first aid, which isn't as good as doctor. You just start with more first aid skill. Hmm. This isn't as productive. All right, fuck it. Nice, nice. Yellow memory module and a doctor's bag. Well, the strain might kill you. All right, that's not. Dixon's eye and a medical hollow disc. Label says Corporal Dixon. Guess we'll take all this little shit. Okay, let's take a look. All right, Corporal Dixon. Subject was attempting to arm an attack mine in storage bay as part of Sierra Army Depot's evacuation defenses. Mine detonated prematurely. Injuring Corporal Dixon and General Clifton. Why the fuck was Clifton there? Thirty-two mine fragments removed. Right eye was damaged beyond repair. They stored it in biogel. This is overloaded. You son of a bitch. What do you want? Fine, give me. There. Are you good now, man? You can't carry enough. You're growing. You're getting weak. You old and weak, Marcus. Not so super, I guess. Definitely a lot of uh, security robots here. It'd be nice if I don't have to fight them all. Skynet security systems. Intruders detected outside perimeter. Automated repairs initiated. Main door malfunction. Uh, run self-diagnostic program. Yes. Shutting down all programs. Takes 99 kajillion hours. Okay. Retinal scanner. Fuck. Should have put in the eye first. God damn it. All right, well, here we go. XP is XP, am I right? And they will have ammo on them. Hopefully Marcus can actually do something.
gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Well, that's outrageous. Are you insane? He was insane. You, you what? 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 That was your fucking master plan? I think they just open that door and kill those robots. Oh my god, that was his master plan, was to throw a grenade. I'm not sure I should allow you to have any grenades, Marcus. I think you're a danger to society. I'm taking your grenades. Fucking hell. That was really, really poor judgment, man. I'm not sure if it's worth it to shut down all the programs or not. Okay, it's fucking... No, just... Why are you doing this? It's like interpret... It's like... Okay, hold on. There you go. Do it that way. We got access. Is that it here? Oh no, there's like a kabillion lockers up there. A kabillion! Gimme, 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 gimme. Guns and bullets. I don't think that actually helps me. Oh, didn't help me. Pulse grenades. Millimeter. Salt rifle. Two, two, three. And combat armor. Hells to the yeah. Same armor class, but all our damage, resistance, and thresholds just go way up. Do you want this? You piece of shit. He might still be overloaded. No. Seems fine. He doesn't run anywhere, but he seems fine. And we got combat armor, baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Force fields, though. We can't get out of here. Without disabling the emitters somehow. Hmm, same issue. Access denied. What are my options here? Uh... Basically, we can go back to right at this point. Mm, hold on again. 
Uh, okay. Apparently, on the second floor... Ah, damn it, Marcus. Get out of the way. Apparently on the second floor, you can notice something? It doesn't sound right. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Maybe this was removed, but it says... On level two, you find a computer next to the left elevator. Maybe they mean level three? There's only one elevator on this floor, whereas the third floor has two elevators. Maybe that's what they meant. Find a computer next to the left elevator. I think you're mistaken. Unless I can get into these elevators. Locked. My ass. We'll get in. We'll get in. I didn't make this a focal point of my character build and fail. Jesus Christ. Crazy. It's crazy. What the hell? What skill level could you possibly need? 100 isn't good enough. I mean, I know, yeah, the electronic lockpick, we probably already would have popped it open. But still... Yes, that was a tough one. 85 XP for that. Save on that shit. And go straight down to the fourth floor. Oh god. And this one's locked. And it's probably just as tough of a lock. Hey! Although these things are probably going to kill me. No, they're not bothered. I completely repaired the robot. Is that something I should do? I don't know. Gained 75 XP for doing it. Cool. There's a lot of death robots on this floor. But there's also some lockers. With a club in it. That's not what I want. Ah, but ammunition. That is good. Laser pistol, can't carry it. That's not too shabby, but we're really at our weight limits here. Mm. Okay. Mr. Handy. There's just fleets of fucking robots, but look at all these crates! Oh my god. 
I'm gonna lockpick this one too. This is fascinating stuff, huh? Hey! It's like we're getting better. Ten clubs. Two rockets. Two different rockets. Two, two, three. Two more combat armors. Fuck. Markets can't wear armor, so it's sort of wasted. I mean, all this is wasted. I, I have more shit than I know what to do with. The only thing I really care about is ammo. I can't even care any more of that. Oh my god. Yeah. It was a cool find, but it's like, I'm full of- I have everything I need. The only thing I need at this point is power armor. Should probably be our next destination. Because power armor is going to be fan fucking tastic. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's head out. I mean, it's not like there's any quests here or anything. It's really just robots we could kill and. Uh, Actually, hold on. I think some of the robots... I think possibly there were some of the robots on that floor who don't attack you? In this room? Let me just save and we'll find out. There you have it. They do not. Where did you get a grenade? I think that might be the one that does attack you, but he missed. He fucking missed. Why does your minigun suck so much? I feel like your minigun is broken. Maybe sniper rifle's a better bet. Point blank minigun, you can't make it work. You can't make it happen, Marcus. Why did I get you? I thought you were gonna be a fucking beast. Rowan flares. Ridiculous. Outrageous. Miss.
All right. Those are hostile creatures, but. Show them to me. I want to see these hostile creatures. Maybe I should grab those rockets. We're going to be here all day. See here. Pulse grenade. 14% chance. Might as well just get up in that grill. Wow. No, I mean, it didn't do anything to me. I just sort of flinched. Did crazy good shit to them. Now, a wiser player would hold on to these because they're very valuable uh, for killing robots. Because you can kill all these things, uh, you know, without needing them. But I'm impatient, so, you know. Jesus. And fucking Mark is throwing flares. He is really a waste of space. Like, all he is is a pack mule. That is Marcus's purpose in this game. Oh my, can't even punch a stationary robot the same size as you. Ridiculous. Don't I have an assault rifle or something or I have the 10 millimeter. Is that gonna do anything with a burst? No. Waste of time. my god. I don't know why I'm recording all this. This is really point. Nothing is going to change and eventually I'll kill them all because eventually I'll kill them all. Sorry, pal. Sorry, pal. All right, this is not a good position for you to stand, Marcus. It's just not worth my time, man.
Maybe if I grab the assault rifle, but... I don't know. Which one was that even in? This one? I closed it. Okay, good. I got one. Coming back over. So useless. No damage. No damage. Fuck me. Let's get out of here. Marcus, stop it. Marcus, stop it! Ridiculous, man. There we go. Oof. 6,300 XP for killing most of those. I think the total's like 8,200 or something. So it's pretty good. It's definitely pretty good. You don't get that kind of XP easy. Usually. So, yeah. Uh, hand this in. We should be able to... Level up again. Hop in the car and get the fuck out of here. Where am I? Where am I? What am I doing? Where am I? What am I doing? I'm trying to get here. Won't let me. Okay. I have my bearings. Yeah, so I managed to get inside and found a lot of old weapons and military hardware there. It's all there for the taking. How about my payment? Go to the cat's paw on New Reno Arms. Tell them you're from tell them you're from me and they'll set you up. Your family now, a made man, and all Reno's gonna know it. And we get to pick our name for being a made man. Made woman. Um Gooch. I like it. It's got style. Alright, so now we're a made man of, uh... The rights. It was very easy. Did two quests and we're a made man. Uh, we only got a thousand XP for that, which is a bit of a bummer. And now we can't really work with any of the other families, so that's also a bummer. But, that's what we decided on. So now we're going to go over to New Reno Arms. Because now he has a special selection of goodies to sell us. He's got a different... Uh, Different shop list, if you're a made man. It doesn't matter what uh, family you're a made man with. So he's got the M60 here. The Bozar. The Super Sledge. The H&K and the Sniper Rifle. So the Bozar is 
delicious. Everything you want out of a gun. Um, it's pretty much one of the best guns in the game. Uh, it's a big gun. It only shoots in burst mode. Um, it does 25 to 35 damage per bullet, and it fires 15 bullets per burst. So the damage range is 375 to 525. <laughs> um, it shoots 223 FMJ, which is good. Um, it has to, you have to reload it after two bursts. And it requires six strength to use. Um, but yeah, it's fucking good. Can easily do over 100 damage per burst, even on the best armor in the game. 250 HP per burst on standard combat armor. Uh, it's pretty much the best. It's not the best, but very good. And it's very accurate, even at long range, up to 35 hexes away, which is nuts. I mean, that's basically the same as, like, the sniper rifle. It's, like, absurd, really. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna buy it. We are gonna take this thing. So, shit, I hate all tabbing. Sell that shit, sell that shit, sell that shit. Uh, sell this shit. This is what all our money has been building towards. Yeah. Hmm. Well... I don't want to spend cash if I don't have to. Where's Marcus? Fuck is Marcus? What are you doing there? Oh my god. Get over here. I can't carry that much. I'm gonna have to dump off. I'm gonna have to trade some things. With him. Uh, we we don't even need the sniper rifle anymore. We can sell the sniper rifle. We'll keep the H and K as like our standard gun. What do you want? But we're gonna give him this. I'm gonna take this. We're gonna sell that. Um. You can sell this. Sell another HK. Uh, hold on to this. You're going to be taking this because I don't need it. Um, that might do us right there, but let me grab this. I can't carry that much. Okay, then we'll just do that. That should be good. Fucking weight management until I get this power armor. That really should be our next goal. Even if it's just like the normal power armor, that would be okay. Bozar, this, this, this. This it's pretty good. This 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 it's pretty darn close. Oh he's stocking a flamer now. I don't know why you'd ever buy the M60 over the Bozar, but maybe I don't know everything. Uh let's see, it's like four hundred something. Yeah, it's fine. There we go. We have the Bozar.
So that'll be our uh, setup. That fucking Bozar. What a beaut. What a beaut. And we can do we can do two bursts a turn. Oh my god. If we get one more AP, we can do two bursts and reload. Uh your fucking attitude, man. It's it needs some real readjustment. Go into his normal shop selection, see if we can't pick up some more ammo, especially 223. We're gonna be eating up a lot of 223. Yes. Yes. And shotgun shells. That's our main go to now. Uh, you don't have any stims or anything? What are you doing? You're holding out on me? I can't carry that much. All right, fuck it. Just dump that off. Take it as a gift from me. All right. Uh, yeah. We're still kind of full up on stuff, but we have a lot of ammo. We're killing machine. We're all good. Um, I think we're good. We can go stop by Renesco, see if he's got stims. This is a fucking hovel, man. What are you doing? Yeah, he's got stims. Got condoms. Okay. So this... Uh, we're done with 10 millimeter at this point. I mean, we're past that. It's no longer really useful aside from killing rats. Just dump all that shit. Dump all that shit. And dump, uh... A rat away. A rat X. Okay, and some money. To um something like that. There you go. Done and done. All right, good. Now we're thirty-five pounds later. Ready to rock and roll. So. If we want the best armor in the game. That's the Enclave's armor. The power armor mark advanced power armor mark two used exclusively by the Enclave. Um, that's the best armor. There's also just the advanced power armor which is uh, easier to get. We can just get that from a locker in a specific location once we've infiltrated it um, in a location called Navarro. And I think we probably can get in there. Hmm. Yeah, we should. It's just a charisma check. Uh, I don't know what the charisma check is.
or oh no you just need 65 plus speech yeah um so that's to get the advanced power armor which is pretty good if we just wanted normal power armor like you're accustomed to uh how do we get that could buy it in san francisco okay yeah, I mean, we'd go to San Francisco. It'd be the primary spot for the normal power armor. Uh, normal power armor is really not too commonly gotten in Fallout 2 because the advanced stuff is so much... It's it's easy to get, and it's just better. It, it literally is just better in every way. So, all right, I guess... Let's go to Navarro. About that time. Oh, I need to get my car, though. Save. Save. This will be a little bit of a tricky trip, even with the car, even at this point. Uh, especially because I don't remember exactly where Navarro is. It's West Coast. Large pack of aliens. Fuck off, aliens. Actually, I probably could shred them pretty easily at this point. With the Bozar in hand. Oh, nicely done, Marcus. You did something. Negative 21%. It's pretty shitty odds. Uh, I'll let him come to me. My big gun skill is not really up to snuff, and I definitely don't have enough strength to use this. Could be better. 22% chance. Point blank, 36%. There you go, 85 damage. All right, fair enough. Yeah, but once we grab the power armor, the Bozar is going to be much better. And you saw I did 85 damage pretty easily. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Let's avoid running into aliens, though. What did I find? Oh, fuck, the exploding cows. Get out of there. That's not something you want to fuck around with. Some aliens and death claws. Beautiful. That's what you want to see. That's the text you want to see pop up. These aren't even normal aliens. They're tough aliens. Marcus, maybe you want to abandon ship. Looks like a baby death claw. Oh no, there's an adult there, and he hit the baby. Small, tough death claw. Let's get the fuck out of here. An enclave patrol. No, I think I'll pass on the enclave patrol. There's the enclave patrol. Marcus, you... No, God, Marcus. God, Marcus. No, you're not gonna... <laughs> you're not gonna do shit to them. Okay, hold on. Let me just save. Uh, and let me reload the car. Refuel it. Give me one of those. 
Uh, you can also store stuff in the trunk of the car. There we go. Refueled. Uh, I think we gotta go further south. Oh god. Nope. Takes- I have to go around to the driver's side. Definitely gonna die. Or Marcus will die. Marcus- oh my god. Alright, we both died. So that's the Enclave. Uh, they're nice. Thing I saved right there. I don't know why I get put on the other side of the car. I mean, also, why did I even stop? What caused me to stop, get out of my car, and walk around? He actually killed one. That's pretty impressive. We're still leaving, but... Good for you. For some reason, I think I should save my game in a brand new slot. <laughs> All right, sure. Stop! Who would cross the bridge of death must answer me these questions three or the other side he see. Very well. What is your name? Taco B of Arroyo. What is your quest? Search for the Holy Gek. What is the minimum requirement for the Quick Pockets perk? Um, Agility of six? <laughs> okay. Which non-player character from Fallout 1 survived to appear in the sequel? Right, off you go. And then you could then kill him and you get his bridgekeeper robes. He was hit for no damage. And he spawns exploding cows. Damn, dude. <laughs> Maybe you can't kill him. Maybe that's only the first one. Hold on. Let me look. Uh, okay. Yeah, for some reason our car is parked on the other side. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So, you're right, if we ask him, like, a follow-up question, like, if you mean the statistic or level requirement, he dies, and you get his row. That's how you kill him. Um, you can apparently kill him in combat. You get 7,500 XP, but you lose 10 karma. Uh, I don't know how you kill him. The Bozar did zero damage, so I don't know how you'd kill him. Uh, so, But if you kill him with the question, you get his robes. They're equivalent to combat armor. They weigh half as much. They don't offer any radiation resistance. And they look, you know, they, they look like the robes. They're pretty good. So I guess it's worth doing. Let's uh, load that up. Taco B, holy gek. How much weight can a person with a strength of six carry, assuming he has a strong back perk? How many levels of strong back perk does a person have? 
There you go, he dies. And we get a level up, because we got 500 XP. And we'll take his robes. So, yep, there you go. The combat armor apparently provides radiation resistance, although it doesn't show it here. But otherwise, it's statistically identical. And it looks cool as hell. Nice. All right. Get Doctor up to 60, and then the rest is into Big Gun, because now we have the Bozar. So that's our primary means of killing shit. All right. That was nice, huh? There's San Fran. Where the fuck is Navarro on the map? I have to double check now. I've forgotten. Uh, Navarro. Navarro. It is up there. You have to have... Yeah, it won't show on the map until we get past... Okay, then I think... We have to go to San Fran. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, San Francisco's cool, too. Alright. Let's just go to San Francisco. If we can. Oh, we encounter some hubologists. Abologists. They're peaceful. We could kill them because they're Scientologists, but sure. All right, San Francisco, here we are. I think we'll get involved in that uh, next time. Good stuff. My name is Mang. Game watching has been Fallout 2. We'll see you fine folks in the next part.